Hi, I'm Liam from Cataclysm and today I'm showing you how to update your Gigabyte BIOS using two methods. You can update your BIOS using the interface or if your PC doesn't turn on, you can use the flash button method. We'll be using the Gigabyte B650 Eagle AX for this demonstration, but this process also applies to most Gigabyte motherboards. So we'll also be using a formatted USB stick. If you don't know how to format it, we will show you later in the video. If you're using the flash button method, you will need a separate PC to download the files onto the USB stick. You will also need a screwdriver handy. Timestamps are available in the video description. To get started, you'll need to find the exact model of your motherboard. If your PC does boot into Windows, press the Windows key and type system information. In the window that appears, look for baseboard product under the item column. The corresponding value will show you the exact model of your motherboard. In this demonstration, it shows Gigabyte B650 Eagle AX. If you're unable to boot into Windows, you will be able to find the exact model of your motherboard on the physical motherboard itself. First, you'll need to remove the side panel of your case. It's usually mounted on with two screws, which you'll need a screwdriver to remove. The model is usually printed on the motherboard as seen in these images for our example it's printed here now that we have the motherboard model we'll need to download the latest BIOS that's available in your browser you'll need to search for your motherboard model in this case it's the Gigabyte B650 Eagle AX go to the official Gigabyte product page and click the support tab navigate to the download section and click the BIOS drop down menu download the latest non-beta version of the BIOS. The versions ending in the letter B are the beta versions. We'll need to copy the downloaded BIOS file onto a formatted USB stick. I'll show you how to do that now. Before you format the drive, make sure to copy any important files before we format the USB because it will be wiping the flash drive clean. First, plug in your USB stick into your USB port in your computer. Back up any important files as formatting will erase the data. Right click the USB drive in File Explorer and select Format. Ensure the file system is set to FAT32 and click Start. After a few seconds, a window will appear saying Format is complete. Just click OK and move on. Now that we've formatted the USB stick, we'll now move on to getting the BIOS file onto the USB. Double click the downloaded file and drag and drop only the BIOS file onto the formatted USB stick. There are two methods for updating your BIOS. Using the BIOS interface or using the BIOS Q flash button. If your PC boots normally, we recommend using the BIOS interface. If your PC doesn't boot normally, we recommend using the BIOS Q flash button. To follow specific instructions on each method, skip to the relevant timestamp on your screen now. With the BIOS file now on the USB stick, we'll now enter the BIOS interface. Restart your PC and repeatedly click the delete key to enter the BIOS interface. Now that you're in the BIOS, make sure the interface is switched to easy mode. Navigate to the Q flash option and select it. Click on update BIOS. On the drop down menu, make sure the USB stick is selected. Select the BIOS file and click the next arrow. A window will appear saying system must restart to complete BIOS update process. Select yes. The PC will verify the BIOS file to make sure it's the correct one. Once verified, click ready to reboot. Once rebooted, the update will begin. Do not touch or turn off the PC during the update. The process will take a few minutes. Once it's complete, the PC will automatically restart. With the BIOS file now on the USB stick, we'll first need to rename the file. Right click, select rename and rename the BIOS file to gigabyte.bin. A window will appear saying, are you sure you want to change it? Select yes. Remove the USB. On the PC, you're flashing the motherboard on. Make sure to turn off the power supply. Insert the USB stick into the designated BIOS Q flash USB port. It's usually indicated on the rear IO. If not, refer to the manual. Switch the power supply back on. Press the BIOS Q flash button on your motherboard. In this example, it's located near the bottom of the motherboard, but sometimes it's located at the rear I.O. A flashing LED will indicate the process has started. It will usually take around five to 10 minutes, but if it stops early, double check the USB drive and the file is named correctly, then try again. Once completed, the PC will turn off and restart automatically. You've now successfully updated your BIOS, but keep in mind this will reset your settings to default. So if you've made any custom changes such as XMP or custom phone curves, you'll now need to reconfigure them.